when you go with associated technologies with based arrays, obviously you're talking about beamforming and the massive MIMO technologies that uh, some of it have, have already occurred, but a large part of innovation is currently occurring. Roger touched upon 3GPP spec being released. There's a new radio format being formed uh, and which offers the promise of greater spectral efficiency, ultimately resulting in, in lower uh, energy per bit and cost per bit, which is the promise of 5G. So clearly there is that angle of specifications. There is the angle of not just the physical layer, but how the protocol stack interacts with the physical layer and how are we going to realize sort of the sub millisecond latency associated with 5G in a practical way. How are we going to test it? How are you going to really prototype throughput speeds that are five gigabits per second in a lab? Uh, how are you going to uh, prototype different channel conditions that are representative of the real world at these high frequencies? A lot of that has yet to be resolved, but hopefully we'll talk about some of that today. And the key site, obviously, our history, our legacy, we're rich with expertise in measurements, and uh, we, we, we have this enormous opportunity to reframe the realm of measurement technology. Because in some ways, when you talked about EVM, it represented a simple signal to noise ratio with an implied uncertainty of the measurement. But when you talk about the, the new realm, where you have phased arrays and you have to basically have connectorless technologies, what does EVM mean in that context? So we, we feel like there's a new context to the, to the measurement technologies that have to get revved up to be relevant so that when you make a measurement in the lab, you're really doing something that, that represents the real world. 